Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Traffic picked up in space this week with two cargo vehicles on the move. First, Japan's HTV-5 was released after delivering almost five tons of supplies and spending five weeks attached to the station. One day after release, it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, packed with trash and disposable items burning up over the Pacific Ocean. Then on October 1st, the Russian Progress cargo ship blasted off from Kazakhstan, arriving at the station just six hours later. It's loaded up with more than three tons of food, fuel, and hardware for the Expedition 45 crew. The vehicle will stay docked until early December. There's flowing water on Mars, and the station is testing a technology that could lead to driving rovers through those Martian streams. This week, astronaut Kamiya Yui used a controller in space to command a rover on the ground in Germany for the European Meteoron experiment. This capability could one day allow astronauts in orbit around the Red Planet to control robotic explorers on the surface below, cutting out the big time delay experience when commanding from Earth. This technology could also be helpful on Earth for driving robots into environments too dangerous for humans. This week, we have a question for astronaut Chell Lindgren, and it comes from actor Mackenzie Davis, who plays flight controller Mindy Park in The Martian. Right now, you're only a split-second call away from people on Earth. How much harder do you think it will be when astronauts have to wait up to 40 minutes for a response? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little more difficult when you have to wait 40 minutes for kind of uh, that uh, return reply. But I think that uh, you know humans are very adaptable, and I think on that journey that uh, an email or a voice message, um, even though it takes 40 minutes, is going to be treasured all the more um, because it still represents that communication, um, that contact, that connection with the friends and family back on Earth. That's it for this week. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.